Mark, for a long time you have said that you uh, did not commit any crimes. Can you explain your plea today? I take I take full responsibility for the omit for the omissions that are outlined in the plea agreement that was presented in court this morning. And uh, I should have, as Attorney General, exercised much better oversight. Why then take an Alfred plea? I, I, um, I think you, my lawyer is in a better position to answer those kinds of questions, but, uh, but an Alfred plea, uh, I don't believe uh, necessarily that the conduct involved uh, that is alleged in count one uh, constitutes a crime. And, and I, to, I don't believe that, it, that that necessarily happened. But I, what I do believe is that that there was sufficient evidence uh, that to convict me. And uh, to be honest with you, I wanted to put this very sad episode in my family's history behind us uh, so that we can all move on. Uh, I can try to move on with my legal career uh, and that my children can move on without further uh, embarrassment and, uh, and, and we can put an end to this matter, not just for me, but for the people of the state. Uh, you know, uh, significant resources were expended on this investigation. Uh, and. Uh, as you can see from the types of things that I was ultimately charged with, the, the, um, uh, certainly the expenditures on the investigation were out of proportion to the, uh, to, to the, alleged, uh, to the alleged conduct. And, but I do take responsibility. I should have exercised better oversight uh, and stronger oversight. Uh, and I didn't, and, uh, and I take full responsibility for that. At the time, did you even contemplate the propriety of the payments? Was that really on your radar? And I believe that they were legal at the time. Mark, you, you say that you don't believe, especially in count one, that there really was criminal culpability. Why not? Well, because um, the, uh, well, first of all, uh, m most everything we did related to the transition committee and the campaign committee was done with the advice of counsel. Um, and so I took the, I relied on the advice of counsel. Uh, secondly, I had no uh, direct authority for making those decisions. Uh, the treasurer of the campaign committee and the, and the uh, transition committee itself made those decisions. They were independent. I, I had no formal relationship with those, with those groups. Uh, and third, um, um, we believe, I believe that the work that was done on behalf of the campaign committee and on behalf of the transition committee was properly vetted through the uh, office uh, as it relates to supplement, uh, to secondary employment. No different than somebody who wanted to work at uh, Lazarus on the weekends. Um, and, uh, and, and in fact, uh, Jerry, I was, I was very conscious of the fact that I didn't want people doing political work on state time. And so to draw those lines clearly, I actually, I, to the extent that I, I, I had any input into these decisions, my input was I want people who do political work to do so outside of state, outside of their state responsibilities and do so and be compensated separately for that. And so I actually thought what I was doing was, was complying with the law and actually uh, operating on the, uh, uh, with an abundance of caution. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the Ethics Commission takes a different view of that, and that's why the, the Alfred plea. Why not just stand and fight that to the bitter end? You make a compelling argument in front of us. Well, the, the, the fact is that, uh, that uh, having a, a trial uh, uh, over the course of the next six months, I, I'm doing everything I can, but son, Charlie's son, um, my son's heading to Georgetown next year, um, and uh, and I have to make sure that he's able to go to school, to make sure that my family can have what they need. My, and I have a daughter, and even though Alyssa and I are, are not going to be married, uh, I'll have responsibilities to make sure that, uh, that I'm fair with her. Uh, and I need to make a living. And uh, the truth is that my ability to practice law would have been greatly impaired uh, and may be impaired ultimately. Uh, and I, and, and I'm, I hope that I'll be able to make a strong case th uh, through, uh, through the disciplinary process. Uh, that these, uh, that the acts involved in this didn't involve anything, any, there was no benefit to me whatsoever from these things. There was no, in fact, as I think you all know, I mean, my, my financial status declined greatly during the time I served in office, both in the Senate and as, as, as Attorney General. Secondly, that none of them involved uh, dishonesty and none of them involved uh, any kind of uh, theft or any kind of, any kind of, uh, 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 moral turpitude. So I believe that I can make a, a strong case through the disciplinary process that, uh, that, that what, I, what, what I did do in the context of this and what I, and what I did take responsibility for here today was not inconsistent with my responsibilities as a lawyer and the code of professional responsibility. So the bottom line, Jerry, is that, uh, is that a trial would have made it, would have been devastating on my law practice. Uh, this has been, I've been now been investigated for longer than I served in office. Uh, and I thought it was, uh, it, just, it just was time to bring this to an end for the benefit of my family uh, and for the benefit uh, of, of the state uh, and the expense that they have been going through because that would have cost another couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, and, uh, and I didn't run for office in order for that to happen.